Right now at 6, the river isn't done creeping into waterside towns yet. The Fountain City community hard at work keeping the flood out of the downtown area. And it's the talk of Titletown. The Rogers roller coaster almost at the end of the tracks as trade announcements are imminent. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Floodwaters are creeping into downtown Fountain City, and the community is working to keep them at bay. Water has not breached the sandbag barrier the city has created, but instead has pushed up through cracks in the road. The city's mayor says the flooding is worse than expected. It's much higher than we would like it to see. It's approaching flood levels that, that we've seen in the past that are can be quite devastating, but we're handling it as best as we can. The community is helping sandbagging operations. Busloads of students from the Cochrane Fountain City School District are helping pile up those sandbags. One student says it's a way to pay back community support. Just uh, giving back to the community that's always helped us out, you know. I mean, uh, they've always been to our football games and our basketball games, and they've really helped us out. So we just got to give back to them, and I think it's a good idea. Now more water is expected tomorrow night. City officials are closing Highway 35 from Wisconsin 37 in Alma to just south of Fountain City. A detour is being set up. Everyone's being asked to avoid driving through Fountain City. We have alternate route information on news8000.com. Road closures continue in Prairie du Chien, another city threatened by floodwaters. As a reminder, County Road K from Cliffwood Drive to Highway 35 is closed. There are several other closures put into place. All of St. Ferial Island remains closed. Now the Hoffman Hall Recreational Center is now a temporary shelter. If you need to evacuate, contact Crawford County Emergency. City officials are asking evacuees to contact Madison Gas and Electric and Alliant Energy if you evacuate your home. We have more information about resources on our website. High water levels have led to the closure of several parks and trails in La Crosse. New closures include Lewis Park, Veterans Freedom Park, and Huska Dog Park. Pettybone, Copeland, and Riverside Park, and the Friendship Gardens remain closed. Any roads that run through those parks are also closed. And the following trails are also closed until further notice. Cottonwood, Grand Crossing, Willow, and Jim S. for Marsh Trails. Green Island and Huska Park Community Trails also closed. Another reminder, if you do not, if, if you do not live in the town of Campbell, Avoid the area. Reduced traffic will help emergency workers respond to situations more quickly. If you are a Town of Campbell resident, be sure to call 211 to learn more about recommended safety precautions. And for the latest on those river flood levels, let's head over to our weather center and Eric Dean. Good evening, King. Good evening, everybody. That water is going to continue to rise as we go into the next uh, several days. Matter of fact, here's the latest uh, in regards to the Mississippi River at La Crosse is at 15.63 feet. Uh, the major flood stage we hit that Saturday was at 15.5 and so you can kind of see where we are there and this is still uh, making its way for the top. Uh, the fourth spot actually just went up 15.66. The beauty of real-time information. Uh, but you can see there we're uh, projected to be the third uh, highest crest on record at the way we're going. And here's the latest charts. This is new information coming in, folks. Uh, by the 26th, we'll go to 16 feet. We'll go to 15.9 feet by uh, the 28th. And then May 1st, it'll drop down to 15.1 feet. So there's some good news there. It's going to start receding, but we've got to get past the next few days first, especially the next five where uh, the river flood outlook is showing uh, that is occurring or it's imminent across not just the Cooley region, but if we zoom out and take a look here, pretty much the majority of the Mississippi River all through Iowa. So again, a very scary situation, just not just here, but across uh, por the other portions of the U.S. And that's why that flood warning is still in effect until further notice. Now, coming up in the first warm forecast, we talked about this earlier, we have rain chances. We have warmer temperatures in the forecast, but the big story is going to be that flooding concern. We'll uh, plot some numbers out across other parts of the Mississippi in just a few minutes. All right, sounds like a plan. Thanks, Eric. You bet. Well, back on the news side of things this evening, if you saw smoke coming from the bluffs today, don't worry too much. La Crosse's Parks, Rec, and Forestry crews were doing controlled burns in prairies and blufflands. The Thompson and Fitzpatrick Pollinator Prairie was burned today. These controlled burns help native plants get rid of extra dead grasses. Senator Sam Tammy Baldwin is asking for answers after the wildfire in Monroe County and on Fort McCoy. 
That fire burned roughly 3,000 acres and took several days to get under control. The senator is sending a letter to Army Secretary Christine Wormuth asking four questions about the decision-making process for running prescribed burns. She also asks how the Army coordinates with the state's Department of Natural Resources when doing scheduled burns. Baldwin states in the letter that the investigation is ongoing. We have a link to the full letter on news8000.com. A bipartisan group of Wisconsin lawmakers is reviving a bill that would make major changes to wiping a past criminal conviction. A current state law only allows an expungement request if the person committed the crime before age 25. Republican Assemblyman David Steffen's bill would remove that requirement and also make certain crimes like stalking and criminal trespass ineligible for expungement. It would also throw out the requirement that a convict has to ask for the possibility of expungement the day of sentencing. Under this bill, a convict can request an expungement one year after completing their sentence. Expungement remains impossible for violent felonies. Stefan is also floating a bill idea to the assembly that would give parents full control over their kids' social media and impose a social media curfew for users under 18. The idea would require age verification for new accounts and restrict the number of targeted ads that minors are shown. Stefan tells Wisconsin Public Radio it's an effort to address mental health concerns that social media platforms can sometimes enhance. Stefan's idea comes after the state of Utah signed a similar bill last month. Critics argue such a law is hard to enforce and kids can get around potential requirements. Requirements. And the Assembly has reintroduced a bill that would make financial literacy a required course for Wisconsin high schoolers. State Republicans brought it up last year, but it was too late for school districts to have the time or money to implement. So the bill would shorten the requirement to a half credit of financial literacy starting in 2028, but it would still present a cost to public schools, many of whom already going to referendum to pay for their current classes. Wisconsin nonprofit Secure Futures reports that only 34% of Wisconsin districts currently require a financial literacy course. And we've got some breaking news out of Green Bay today. The Packers are trading quarterback Aaron Rodgers to the New York Jets. Our sports director Rob Schiff joins us live in studio for more. Rob, this has been a back and forth between the organizations for quite some time, but the draft is this week and that had to have put pressure on the conversation. It sure did. Well, it's been 40 days, Ken, since Aaron Rodgers told the world he plans to play for the New York Jets. The only thing holding up the trade at the time was compensation. Fast forward a month and a half later, the asking price has been met, and after 18 seasons in Green Bay, the longest tenured Packer will no longer be wearing the green and gold. Instead, the 39-year-old will be wearing the green and white. The Jets and Packers reportedly coming to an agreement on Monday that will send the four-time MVP to the Big Apple. Since being drafted by Green Bay in 2005, Rodgers spent almost two decades building a Hall of Fame resume with the Packers. He's a four-time MVP, a Super Bowl champ, as well as a Super Bowl MVP, leading Green Bay to a championship back in 2011. Obviously a tough decision for the Packers GM, but just a couple of hours ago, Brian Gutekun spoke about the legacy that Rodgers leaves behind in Green Bay. He'll always be a Packer, you know what I mean? And um, he's, uh, he'll want to be one of the best that ever have done it around here. And I have a lot of respect. Um, how he went about it um, and you know he'll be missed I mean there's no doubt about it I mean players like that don't come around very often um, but at the same time we're really excited where we're headed and what we're, you know, we're moving to do and, and and wish him nothing but the best now Green Bay will look to the future with QB1 Jordan Love and the draft picks they're getting for Rodgers we'll have more on that trade coming up at six just another slow news day <laughs> here at WKBT yeah quite a Monday <laughs> in the sports world yep. Rob thanks very much bud all right, after the break, Bangor Elementary students are spreading love. They're taking the Little Heart Project to the next level and showing kindness to their youngest peers. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At By Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. Life's more rewarding at Blaine's Farm and Fleet, especially during our great outdoor event. Right now, get unbeatable deals on a variety of outdoor essentials, like over 70% off these special buy men's cat boots, just $49.99. Select kayaks are sale priced at only $239.99. And save $3 on Blaine's Platinum Automotive batteries. Plus, Blaine's Rewards members get a free $10 gift card with $80 spent on a state fertilizer. Find value at Blaine's Farm and this time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. 
Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford SUV to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0% financing for 60 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on a new Ford Explorer. It's showtime. Now, for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 60 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on a new Ford Explorer. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. When your back pain is your foot's fault. This is Dean's story. I had back pain, and I honestly didn't know where to go. Until a friend suggested the Good Feet store. She had to explain to me the feet are connected to the back. And get this. As soon as I put on those Good Feet arch supports, the pressure lifted off my back. It's like finding that missing puzzle piece. Like, yes, this is it. Stop by for your free fitting at the Good Feet store. When the insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court, and that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. Well, a small act of kindness, as we know, can go a long way, even when it comes from a stranger. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us live in the studio to share how one Bangor counselor is spreading kindness with the help of his students. Ken, I first met the founder of the Little Heart Project back in July. Then she was crocheting hearts with hundreds of uplifting messages. Since then, her project has only grown, and we got a first-hand look at how it's growing today. Bangor Elementary School counselor Matt Jacobson runs the 5th grade Make a Difference Club. Kids in his club give up their recess once a week to help others. Right now, they're spreading kindness by making pegboard hearts and sharing them with their school. I'm trying to teach these kids we don't always have to get something back. We're going to get something back in return so much more of just the feeling of caring and kindness. Club members handed out their handmade hearts to 4K students today. The fifth graders told me that they want the kids to know that they are loved. Jacobson says today was exciting for the kids and they plan to hand out more hearts to the rest of the school later this year. You'll hear from those kids making a difference tonight at 10. Ken? I absolutely can't wait. Thanks, Emily. If you'd like to get involved with the Little Heart Project, you can check, check out its website. We've got that linked at news8000.com. Well, it's time to think pink. Early bird registration for opening up for stepping out in pink. We'll have those details just ahead. And in the world of weather, flooding is still an issue. We're sitting at 15.66 feet uh, here in La Crosse, Mississippi. We're going to go to 16.1 feet by Wednesday. We'll uh, do a little fly through across the Cooley region and talk about other places and what they're seeing on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Are you throwing hard-earned money out the window? Are you looking to enhance your energy efficiency and make cleaning easier? Choose your home improvement company to get energy efficient, maintenance-free windows with a double lifetime warranty. Stop wasting your money on inefficient windows that are old, drafty, and have no warranties. With financing to fit your budget and certified professional installers, you can't go wrong. Call or schedule your free estimate online and get 10% off your entire project. Your home improvement company where it's your home made better. I just got the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from US Cellular. With the most powerful processor yet, it can game smoother than ever. With nightography, it can take selfies in low light. Click. And with a longer battery life and US Cellular's 5G network, it can stream my favorite shows around the clock. Amazing. Can it go back in the back? Yeah, it can go back in the back. Okay. Did you just kiss the phone? Get the Samsung Galaxy S23 free. No trade-in needed from US Cellular. I kissed you? Yes. Rise and shine. Today you start a new and exciting adventure. So step up and dream big. At the School District of La Crosse, let curiosity guide you. Not fear of the unknown. Meet friends, learn and play. Embrace change. Discover hidden talents. And let loose your unbridled potential. Build a better future. Because here, anything is possible. The School District of La Crosse. Dream. Believe. Achieve. Hit the ground running in the most adventurous Honda vehicles yet. Like the Pilot and Passport Trail Sport, 
or the Ridgeline, made more rugged with better off-road performance and more capable with different driving modes available to conquer snow, mud, and sand. Adventure on in the Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Get your next project started with 11% off everything at Menards. Let the fresh spring air in with a new Larson Storm Door. Featuring ScreenAway technology, this Lakeview Storm Door is just $299.99 after rebate. Keep your furry friends happy, healthy, and safe with innovative products from PetSafe. From pet fences to training collars and more, this remote trainer dog collar for smaller dogs is only $159.95 plus 11% savings. Save big money at Menards. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. We have arrived at the first day of early bird registration for the 17th annual Steppin' Out in Pink. The cost for people who register early is going to be $20 from now to June 29th. Early bird registration open through that date, and then after that, prices are going to increase to $25. Now, this year's event will take walkers through Riverside Park and the La Crosse Marsh Trails. This year's event set for September 9th at Riverside Park. Of course, right now, it's hard to envision anything going right. on at Riverside Park, given the state of it right now, Eric. I mean, I think the only ones that benefit if it were today, ducks. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? No go. Uh, in all seriousness, no, we do have, we've been talking about this past several days, flooding concerns. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the latest. Eau Claire sitting, everybody is over major flood stage, more or less. 771.73 uh, is the current stage in Eau Claire. We go over towards Wabasha, checking in with 16.94 feet. We fly down to Minnesota City, 663.95. We'll go a little bit farther south again. Over towards Trempolo, good evening to you guys. Your river stage, 650.80 feet. Go a little bit farther south over towards La Crescent, 644.55. La Crosse is at 15.66. Go down to Lansing, 18.81 feet. Over towards the Lynxville area. Good evening to you guys, 629.36. And then last but not least, over towards McGregor, where we're having the main issue over towards the Prairie de Sheen area, 22.08. Substantial flooding will be the main rule as we go into the week. It will start to subside as we go into the second half of the week. So there's a little bit of good news there, but we've got to get past the next couple of days first. A few renegade showers on the radar right now. Otherwise, we're staying mostly cloudy. We'll stay mostly cloudy as we go into your Tuesday morning. The clouds will dissipate as we go to the afternoon and early evening hours, but rain chances the next several days. The good news, nothing tomorrow, nothing Wednesday. It's when we get back into the weekend that the rain chances start to ramp up yet again. So we're seeing a temperature of 50 degrees in La Crosse. You can see on city cam the cloud cover starting to push through. It feels like 50 out there. Winds are out of the west northwest at five miles per hour. Eau Claire, you're checking in with 46 degrees. It feels like 42 out there with winds out of the north northwest at eight miles per hour. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the next eight days in terms of temperature because we'll stay in the 50s for tomorrow and Wednesday. It's when we get into Thursday and Friday. OK, the rain chances go up. But so does the temperature. We're going to go back into the upper 50s to low 60s, and then we drop those temperatures again as we go into the weekend. So here's your setup. High pressure is large and in charge. It is in control. We'll get on the back end of this as we go into your Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and that's what's going to allow those temperatures to go up. As we get on the back end of that, it will cause that southerly flow. So the details of the first warm forecast for tonight. We're going to hover around freezing with mostly cloudy skies, a nice light wind out of the north at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. The next several hours for tomorrow, we'll start the day off with temperatures in the mid 30s by the 8 o'clock hour, going to 47 by the lunch hour. How about upper 40s to low 50s for the mid to late afternoon hours? Then we go to 47 by 8 p.m. the next eight days. Here we go, 57 for Wednesday, 63 on Thursday, 62 Friday, 50s as we go into Saturday and Sunday, 51 by Monday, 56 as we go into Tuesday. But I want to draw your attention to a few things. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Unfortunately, the rain chances are in the forecast yet again, which we don't need at all. But one thing to note too, tomorrow, Wednesday though, definitely get out and enjoy that. And um, coming up at 10, we'll have the latest, you know, on the 
river levels and stuff as it's going up. Yeah, and it's still developing. And it's going up quick. Every second that we're talking, it continues to develop. Exactly. Well, even during first weather, it went from 15.63 yeah. to 15.66. Yeah, it's not going away so anytime, not soon. anytime soon. Now. All right, Eric, thanks yeah, for everything. Coming up next in sports, the longest tenured Packer heading to New York. After almost six weeks of working on compensation, Jets and Packers finally coming to an agreement for the future Hall of Famer. We'll break it down, courtesy of Rob Schiff, next. Spring is a great time to plan your next home improvement project. Call now for a free estimate on windows, doors, siding, sunrooms, decks, baths, kitchens, or flooring. No one gives you more choices than Dahl Auto. We have the best selection in the region with over 400 new vehicles from nine different brands. Schedule a VIP appointment or buy online at DahlAuto.com. My team at Schwabel gets in Sieben provided stability at a time where everything in my world was chaos. They methodically pursued benefits to which I was entitled that would have been hidden in my insurance code somewhere. They knew how to pursue them effectively and how to support me in the process. Don't settle with the insurance company until you've talked with Schwabel, Getz & Sieben. Call or visit schwabel.com today for a free consultation. There are so many things we take for granted. So many things. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for their survival for granted too. The elderly, disabled, the veterans, people on limited and fixed incomes, or folks that lost jobs in sectors hardest hit during the pandemic. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? Some people just can't come back. And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind, struggling to keep their heat, water, and power on. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our heat, Water and power providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. The new cars are rolling in at Dahl Auto with over 400 vehicles available. While other dealers have brochures, we have the newest models on the show floor with all the latest technology and safety features. Experience them for yourself at Dahl Auto. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. It's been 40 days since Aaron Rodgers said he plans to play for the New York Jets. The only thing holding up the trade at the time was compensation. And after almost six weeks, the compensation has been agreed upon, and the four-time MVP is no longer a part of the green and gold. The Packers and Jets reportedly coming to an agreement on Monday with Rodgers as the centerpiece in this blockbuster trade. And after 18 years as a Packer, Rodgers will have a new home in 2023. The 39-year-old was drafted by Green Bay in the first round back in 2005. He built a Hall of Fame resume over that span, a 10-time Pro Bowler, four-time MVP, four-time first-team All-Pro, a Super Bowl champion, and a Super Bowl MVP, leading the Packers to a championship back in 2011. After almost two decades of making Lambeau field his home, Rodgers will go from the green and gold to the green and white. Let's take a look at the trade details. It's very important for us, I think, you know. Uh, wouldn't have been the end of the world, but at the same time, I think. Uh... All right, here we go. There they are. As for the Jets, they'll get Rodgers. They'll pick swap with the Packers. So Green Bay will get the 13th pick. Jets will get the 15th overall pick on Thursday. New York will also get a fifth round pick in this year's draft. As for the Packers, Green Bay gets the 42nd overall pick, a six rounder. And the Packers also receive a conditional 2024 second round pick that will become a first rounder if Rodgers plays 65% of the Jets' snaps. Earlier today, Packers GM Brian Gutekunst talked about the urgency of getting this deal done before the draft begins on Thursday. It was very important for us, I think, you know. Uh, wouldn't have been the end of the world, but at the same time, I think uh, it would have certainly changed things quite a bit, so getting it done ahead of time was important. I just think certainly the capital for this year, you know, um, was very important, certainly more valuable than, than future stuff. Now Green Bay will be able to move on and focus on what's next. The NFL Draft will have more Packers draft coverage later this week. Finally, former Aquinas standout Lexi Donarski announcing that she'll be transferring 
to ACC Powerhouse North Carolina in 2023. The Narcy spent the last three seasons at Iowa State. She was named Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year in 2022. She earned a spot on the All-12 Big 12 First Team as a sophomore, leading the Cyclones all the way to the Sweet 16. Donarski started every game she played in at Iowa State, but now with two years of eligibility still left in her college career, the former Blue Gold will be wearing Carolina blue as she heads to Chapel Hill to join the Tar Heels. And you spoke with her dad, I believe, earlier yes. today? Yes, yep, uh, a little bit from Dave. Uh, it, the style of play over there is gonna fit her style of play a little bit better. It's a little bit more free wheel and deal, sure. whereas Iowa State had a certain formula to how they run the offense, which obviously served her well in the first few years of her career, but right. a little something different, a little bit more creative freedom on offense, it sounds like. Okay. And of course, vibing with the coaching staff as well. Looked her up a little bit. She was at Princeton before this, turned Princeton into a powerhouse. Yep. So she knows what she's doing, and obviously, Whatever visit she might have had, Lexi had good vibes in there. And a little tongue-in-cheek, they are also Jordan Brand. There it is. <laughs> I love it. Real quick, we didn't yep. talk about Giannis because of the whole Rodgers thing. Giannis yeah. is back tonight, game four. Yep. I'd say a must-win for this team. I mean, they're down 2-1. Didn't think they'd be in this spot against the eighth-seeded Heat. Mm -hmm. They need this game tonight. Hopefully, they can win the next three with Giannis. Absolutely. I mean, Miami's pretty undersized, so other than Bam out of Iowa, there's really no one who can kind of guard Giannis. Right. But if you fall 3-1 to one to this team, that's very streaky from three-point mm. shooting. They had been terrible from shooting downtown in the regular season. Right. A couple of games are already shooting 60% in this playoff. So you cannot afford to have, like, one margin, one game margin for error. So, sure. absolutely. I'd, three in a row. Let's get it done. All right. Bucks and six, <laughs> right, everybody? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Schiff, thanks very much. You buddy. Got it. We will be right back after this. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford SUV to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0% financing for 60 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on a new Ford Explorer. It's Showtime. Now, for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 60 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on a new Ford Explorer, only at your Northland Ford dealers. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. The good news is we'll see abundant sunshine tomorrow and Wednesday with highs in the 50s. The bad news is we go into the 60s with rain chances Thursday and Friday, and then we go back into the 50s with even more rain chances. Whew. As we go into the weekend, we don't need that rain. We really don't. But Tuesday consolation for Sportsland. Mm -hmm. Less outdoor sports tomorrow, hopefully. Let's go. Let's do it. Should be a full Love schedule it. tomorrow. And a couple games tonight, maybe? Yeah. All right. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you at 10.